Hey, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a really quick layout document using the built-in um, controls in the SketchUp model panel right in layout. So this will allow you to create a quick document without having to spend a lot of time in SketchUp uh, preparing it for layout. Inside SketchUp now, you can see the model that I'm using for this tutorial. You can use any model that you have or that you've gotten off of the 3D warehouse. This one in particular happens to be one that I got off of formfonts.com. If you'd like to learn more about uh, the premium model service, you can go to mastersketchup.com forward slash formfonts. So typically when I am going to create a layout document, I'll spend some time in SketchUp ahead of time creating scenes for the various views that I want to use. So you can see up here I have front, back, right, and left. So each one of these scenes represent a viewport that I'm going to create in layout. But in this video, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to create a layout document without preparing scenes ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these scenes. So one of the things that you'll notice here is I have these uh, uh, guides in place. Let me actually switch to a different, different style here so we can just see that a little better. So we use these guides a lot to place different objects as we're drawing, but uh, they tend to, to accumulate um, quite a bit. So before you bring it into layout, a quick way to get rid of the guides is to go to the edit menu and click delete guides. You'll also want to um, save or create any special styles that you want to use and you want to be aware of whether or not you have any section planes um, active or, or existing in your model because uh, that could give you some undesirable or unintentional results when, depending on the style that you're creating. So just clean up your model a little bit and go ahead and click Save. And then to, to bring it into Layout, we're going to go to File and Send to Layout. So Layout will then open and you'll have to choose a template. So the template is basically um, allowing you to decide the page size and whether you have uh, you know a pre-configured title block. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial under the default templates under the title block um, clicking simple serif I'm gonna choose the letter landscape template and click open. Now when I do that what happens is uh, this template happens to have two pages. Um, you can see that under the pages panel. If, you're, if you can't see uh, the contents of the pages panel, you just need to click the title bar here and it'll expand. So there are two pages, the cover page and the inside page. And with this particular template, it happens to open up on the inside page, which is page two. And it'll insert this default um, viewport which includes your model and what it will show you is your last saved SketchUp view. So you can view this information in the SketchUp model panel and we're actually going to use this panel to configure the viewport um, to the view that we want. So like I said at the beginning of the tutorial if this were uh, a typical project that I that I would do I would actually have scene saved and I would select the scene that I want to assign this viewport to. But in this case we deleted all the scenes so we need to use the built-in tools and layout to orient the viewport. So what I'll do first is I'll select, I'm going to turn this one into a front view. So just from the standard views drop down menu I'll click front. I'm going to make this an orthographic perspective so I'll activate the ortho button. And then uh, I'm going to just resize um, so if you hover over any, um, any of these uh, blue outlines of the viewport, you'll notice the cursor changes to kind of a double arrow. And as you click and drag, it'll re sort of resize the model for you. So as I'm resizing the box, the model is scaling as well. So I'm just kind of getting it to a rough size, uh, a rough scale that I sort of like. 
And to fine tune the scale, I'll go to this drop down menu here and select, I think I'll use uh, the eighth inch equals one foot. Now notice how once you define an absolute drawing scale, the preserve scale on resize is checked. And what this does is now when I come over here and resize, the model doesn't scale with the uh, scaling of the box. And, and that makes sense because we just assigned it a scale. We don't want to change it. So I just finished uh, resizing the viewport boundaries and now I'll move it into place. So you'll notice with the select tool, now all of this, everything I've done so far, I've just been using the select tool. So when you hover over a viewport with a select tool, it turns into the move tool. So you don't have to actually select a different tool for moving. So you just click and drag and position it where you want. Now there are a bunch of other uh, tools to help you uh, position uh, objects into place and we won't we won't go over that right now but you have the grid you can right click and show grid you can turn on grid snap but just for this example we're just gonna place things sort of uh, loosely so so that was pretty simple so by we inserted the viewport and uh, as a side note actually you don't have to um, create a layout document from SketchUp by going to File and Send to Layout. You could actually just open Layout, start a new document, and then go to File, Insert, and that will insert a viewport for you as well. So the next thing we want to do is make a couple copies of this and reconfigure it. So to make a copy, you just hold down the Control key uh, with the Select tool, and you'll notice the little plus sign appears next to the, the Move cursor, and then click and drag and one thing that I find helpful is you notice how all these uh, reference lines start bouncing around trying to lock on. If you hold down the shift key as well, this will lock you into a parallel uh, movement um, along an axis to just keep things aligned. It's a little bit easier. So just release the mouse button and then we'll go over here and do the same thing in the SketchUp model panel. We're going to choose a different view. So we'll choose left and then the scale is already set, ortho is already set, and I'll make another copy, hold control, I'm holding shift again just to keep that orientation, and this one I will choose right, and I'll make another copy, and this one I'll choose back. Now notice how the model is not um, centered in the viewport. So we just need to make a little bit, a uh, couple of changes here. So we need to expand the viewport boundary and just shift it over uh, to be aligned with this. Now to copy to another page, you just select any viewport and on your keyboard tap Control C, just like in any other program. And we'll select the cover page and we'll tap Control V to paste it. Now this one, I want to use a perspective view. So I just moved it over in the corner and then I'm just going to drag the boundaries down here. And so I'll turn off the ortho button. So we're in perspective mode. And instead of using a standard view here, I'm going to jump into what's called model space. So to jump into model space, you just double click on the viewport and that gives you all of the familiar tools that you're used to using in SketchUp. So you have the orbit tool just by clicking and dragging you can orbit the model around you can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel on your mouse and you can even pan by holding down the shift key you can pan the camera left to right and when you get the model where you want it you can just tap escape or click once anywhere outside of the the viewport and there you go. Well, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to learn more advanced tips on how to use SketchUp and Layout, consider purchasing my book, SketchUp to Layout. You can go to SketchUpToLayout.com and learn all about uh, what's in the book. I also have a video course included there as an option and a professional package, which includes a ton of different bonuses as well. So I go over a lot of the advanced techniques. Um, 
that are required when you want to create complex viewports inside layout. So check it out and let me know if you have any questions. You can email me at matt at mastersketchup.com. Thanks for watching.